Look at that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Something this beautiful sitting next to something so beautiful. Great morning, but uh, she needs a cleaning. One of the issues that I had was I didn't get this car expelled right after I got the wrap, but we're gonna do that today. That was an interesting ride. I hate yeah. following and I hate driving. Yeah, yeah, that sucked for me. I yeah. So hate she it. slowed down all the way on the highway on the far left lane. This is Massachusetts, so people let you know when you're going too slow for a highway that's 65 miles an hour. People yeah, thought I was a butthole. Oh yeah, they were going crazy. She's ready to get expelled. So wait, because now I can just take her straight to the drive-thru and get that clean. Or I can go to Tommy's detailing, whichever one. That. I don't think I fit in it though. I don't know if I can fit in this. It is nice, it's very nice. Wow, is that the bike? Yeah, this is nice. Fully loaded, every option, cruise control, heated grip, hydraulic quick, quick shifter. Oh my God. This has gotta go now, this is ugly. This oh, you hate this part? This has got to come back here. Nice I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> Customers to Eastside Motoring, remember that. <laughs> BMW has a connection with Brembo now, so a lot of their bikes will come stock with Brembo brakes on it now. The thing looks nuts. I gotta catch you on the highway. I, got, I know. I know this is what. I know. I understand this is not what the 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 video is about right now, because I'm talking about you know is it worth buying a Z06? But damn, is it worth buying? <laughs> 14 grand? I like that. I like that right there. Look at that. That's dope. Don't ever drop it. I know, right? <laughs> I never get tired of seeing it, Tim. This is the part I love about being an American where you can experience something this beautiful, right? Sitting next to something so beautiful. This is what makes this country great. I think we forgot that. We have the best of all the worlds here. Bam! You learn something. Hey, bye, baby. I'm going to miss you, but uh, I'll be able to wash you better. <laughs> Puddle. Did you forget which, about the last video? Which one? What are you oh, the snowstorm. Oh my. because tomorrow's gonna be 61 and we're gonna have to drive around in Bertha. Sorry, right. Bertha. Never mind the noise in the background. It's gonna be them. You already heard it. So let's talk about what the real subject of this video is, which is should you be buying a C6 Z06 right now? The only way I can answer that is through my own personal experiences. If you guys have been here for a while, you'll remember that I had a Mitsubishi Evo. Nothing really crazy, but it blew up. You don't want that shit. But right after that, I looked around and saw what vehicle could I purchase potentially get my money back if I ever decide okay I'm gonna sell this thing it's not for me I saw that the C6 Z06 was actually just growing in value I don't know if you guys remember but I made a video say about a year and a half ago uh, comparing it to an American version of a Toyota Supra as far as value now I'm not gonna compare a Corvette with a Supra but the Z06 is it's pretty much up there mine is a 2008 yeah obviously it's dated the technology and is a little old but the value of it is growing let me give you an example at the time of purchasing my Z06 I purchased mine for approximately 27,000 today I'm talking about today you look for a 2008 
C6 Z06, you're not gonna be paying anything less than 45. I'm not gonna say that. You probably will find some, but right now they're selling for about 45. I mean, this is this is the price that I found online for my C6 Z06. So if I ever decide to sell it, I mean, it's, it's a good deal. To me, that seems like a good deal. So quick answer, should you buy a C6 Z06? That depends on you. If you're going to be modifying it, great, do that, modify it, but if you're planning on buying a C6 Z06 and perhaps maybe selling it down the line, that's actually not a bad idea either. You purchase this one, you hold it for a little bit, don't modify it, and then just wait to see what the market does of what I might be losing out on if I do modify my car. Did I burp? I might have burped. <laughs> okay, that was a burp. So, in closing, should you buy a C6 Z06? I mean, absolutely you should. It's a fun car to drive. Would I really buy another one? No. I don't want to see if I can modify it in a way that I enjoy it more. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Peace.